All right, folks, so what we're going to do is just going to dress up this shelf here, this ledger, if you want to call it. So we're going to put a piece like this underneath here to cover up this gap, which I can put a pencil through, which I can put my finger through. Uh, then we'll put a nice 45 on this edge to make it look good. So let's cut that, get that ready to go, and then we'll install it. Hey folks, so we're in the basement. Uh, what you're seeing here is a, a molder that I bought off of um, Craigslist. And the great thing about this company is that you, know, you can send them a sample of the trim, whether it be a you know, window trim, door trim, crown molding, shoe molding, whatever. Um, they can use that sample to create a knife, a custom knife that you insert into this uh, molder. And you can replicate any kind of trim you have in the house. Um, so it's a great piece of equipment to have to give you the capability and the capacity to uh, you know, basically replicate all the trim in your house because you can't buy this stuff at Home Depot and it definitely you know elevates the house as far as you know using the original profiles and things of that nature for the house. And so as you see uh, it's going to pop out the profile pretty soon and let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's a, it's a great profile that we're going to use to close that gap in that ledge. All right, folks, so we got the molding back from the molder, and we just want to look at the ends just to make sure sometimes the ends get a little bit monked up because of uh, running through the molder. It likes to chip out a little bit sometimes. But this looks pretty good. See for yourself, it looks pretty good. All right, so now we have to hang it on the wall and we're gonna need a 45 on this side. And it's gonna be around 67 and a half inch. So let's do that. So 67 and a half inch, come on. Sixty-seven and a half inch. All right. So hopefully I have enough distance before I hit the wall, which I do, which is great. So now we got a nice forty-five in there. We're just going to dress it up a little bit with some sandpaper. So now we got a nice 45 on the end. So now we're going to go hang it up. What we also want to do is we have to make a 45 to go back into the wall. Like that. Let's go straight up. All right, so that looks like it will work. So just sand that up a little bit. I gotta change that blade because it's getting a little bit of tear out and not much tear out, but you can see it a little bit. Go to 150 grit. Just sand all the interfaces. So now, I'll show you what I'm talking about. When it goes against a wall, it looks something like that, right? That's what we want. All right, so let's go hang this up. And hopefully all the stars align and it goes up well. If not, got plenty of wood to do it over again. All right, so I got all the essential tools. got some tape. 
got some glue, got my piece of wood, and then got my structural glue. So I'm just gonna put in here, just dab it in a little bit. Not a whole lot, just enough to, for comfort and reduce squeaks and things of that nature and just get a nice secure bond so that it doesn't vibrate out or anything like that. All right. All right, so let's set our piece in here. The first thing I wanna do is just make sure the length is good. So I put underneath the glue bed. And what I probably wanna do is take about an, an inch off that because I want it to be right about there. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's see how that lays in there. Yep, I like that a lot better. Now I'm just gonna push this in place. As you can see, it's a little bit darker than this one, but when the stain will blend everything in. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and nail this in place. Push it up nice and tight. One more at the end here. And that's plenty. I got my little 45 to tie it back into the wall. Let's see how that fits in there. That's pretty good. All I'm gonna do is just put some glue on that. And this is just woodworking glue. Tight bond number two. All right, so just smear that in, try not to get it too close to the edge. And make sure my fingers are nice and clean. So I'm getting glue on the, the wood, what would you impede the staining? All right, so that's glued in place. So make sure that's kind of nice and tight, which it is. So now what I'm going to do is just take a piece of tape, let that set up overnight. And there you go. Dress up pretty good. There is a little bit of glue here that you can see. I'm not going to deal with that right now because if I try to scrape it off, it's going to embed it in some of the pores of the wood. So what I'll do is I'll let it dry and I'll just sand it away um, and we'll stain it. But it covers up that gap, looks really good. All right, so just a close up of what we just put up, what we just installed. It looks good. Close this gap up, that was right there. And you see the 45 we have temporarily taped there. This is a nice ledger. Um, you can put some pottery up there or something like that. So it definitely looks good.